Hello, music scholars. This is uh, Professor Sylvester Henderson. Um, I am just uh, putting together this Canvas introduction video for you to help you to be able to locate uh, different materials for the course. Uh, the areas under this class that you will use under the Canvas shell will be the home button, the announcement button, assignment, uh, the discussions are duplicated under the assignments, uh, the modules tab, the syllabus tab, and the files tab. If you look at the home page, you will find uh, the introduction to the course, introduction to the reading of music through um, music via the visual application of the keyboard, theory of melody and rhythm, various aspects of musicianship, experience with music literature through recordings. And I just listed a variety of uh, music for your consideration, uh, various styles. Uh, under your assignments, this is very, very important. You will see that the course is structured into four class sessions. Class sessions weeks one through four, class session weeks five through eight, class sessions week uh, weeks nine through 12, and class sessions weeks 13 through 16 for uh, the semester. Um, you will be given five points for asynchronous class participation for the course. Um, let's look under uh, how you would know what to do for each of the four weeks. Uh, class session uh, weeks one through four. Let's look under where it says class summaries. You have the class summaries there. It tells you specifically week one, introduction, getting to know you, discussion topic. That means you can, you can use this form, uh, the getting to know you tab as a discussion uh, tab which is gonna be found under the modules um, tab. Uh, it tells you number two, download a keyboard located under modules. Discuss the Canvas files, material location. That means study this video. Do some music listening, emotion, timbre located under the modules tab. This is another discussion element. Um, classroom lecture. Look under the elements of music is what we are going to be really concentrating on this first week. Uh, it tells you melody, rhythm, harmony, form, and timbre. This is very, very important. Do not contact me with any questions regarding the elements of music. The elements of music, you may only use the Henderson definitions for the elements of music on all semester examinations. If you use any other definitions, you will receive zero. The Henderson definitions are located under the modules tab for the elements of music. We're gonna go down again, see where it says again, the summary and definitions. Please only use the following definitions for all classroom questions regarding the elements of music. You're gonna click this tab right here. You're going to download this file. It's going to tell you exactly what are the definitions that I want to use for melody, rhythm, harmony, form, and timbre. Under each of the main elements, the five elements of music, there is a subconcept. If I ask you to define melody, do not go to Google. Only use exactly the definitions that are on this page. Do not email me or and or say, I you know I didn't know this. It's listed clearly. There is a video. The subconscious, for instance, for the elements of music is motif. The definition: fragmented musical ideas. I've done the work for you. You have to simply give me the work back. Once again, you may only use the Henderson's simple definitions 
when describing the five elements of music and their subconcepts. Now, there, uh, if you look right here on the modules, there is a video that is here, but the video is just a way of just expanding your horizon and just getting another perspective, okay? Do not look at the video, but do not use any of... Don't buy solar panels, seriously. There is a very good reason why we're saying this. If you're thinking about... Hello, everyone. I'm... Look at the introduction to the Elements of Music video just as, as an alternate way of learning. But in terms of the definitions for the courses, use none of the definitions from the introduction to the Elements of Music video. Only use the definitions that I have printed out for you, okay? So let's go back under the assignment tab. We know that all the work is section once again, um, off into various sections. Um, under modules, look at, let's look in the modules for a second. All the different activities I suggested that you begin to use for uh, your classroom discussions are listed under here. Additionally, there's an orientation module. It tells you the welcome letter. I have a welcome letter here that I suggest that you actually read. It has meet your professor, course communications, course policy, participation, grading, and academic integrity, and da, 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 da. Uh, our tutor kind of academic course assistant assistant uh, is going to be uh, Mr. Aaron Nakaji. If you need help with the course, this asynchronous course, he's willing to offer you assistance. You uh, call, you click on this uh, tab right here, and you see his number. This is his cell number right here. You call the cell number and make an appointment, and this is the link to his Zoom room right here. Let's go back to modules again. Uh, your textbook is a virtual textbook. You don't have to do anything but click. It's a very large textbook. I use the textbook greatly. However, once again, when it comes to the elements of music definitions, do not even use the definition from the textbook. The textbook is very, very, very thick, and it's uh, about 300 pages, okay? So make sure that, um, see where you have these different informations right here, principles that they cover. Do not use the definitions of anything in the textbook as it relates to the elements of music. Uh, let's go back here one more time. Let's go back to the modules tab um, where it asks you under classroom summaries to download your keyboard. These are the keyboard. This is the keyboard right here. This is a blank keyboard right here. You can take this button and rotate the keyboard till you have a keyboard right in front of you. This note here, the white note to the left of the group of two black notes is known as a C. The black pitch at the top to the left of the three black notes is known as an F. So this pitch would be C, this would be D, this would be E, this would be F, this would be G, this would be A, this would be B, and C. Because in music, there are only seven alphabets that are used to describe naming all of the pitches throughout all forms of music. And then the black notes are going to be either sharp or flat forms of all the white keys. So the musical alphabet is A through G. Uh, let's leave that for a second. Uh, I've also noted um, uh, a noted keyboard. Let's look at that just for a second. This is just gonna kind of help you to navigate the shell. 
in case you have questions and what have you. Let me turn this over right here. The information that we talked about is right here as well for your consideration. C through C, and then it's the actual scale starts again. Uh, let's go back right now to modules. The circle of fifth chart, you're going to study that. Music alphabets, major key signatures, test examination presentation policy. Very important. For all of your semester examinations, you are to print out the examination or the exam. You are to write on the exam and scan it again and present it and upload it. It says, hello, I will only accept examinations that are printed, printed, written on, typed on, scanned, and uploaded in the Canvas portal. You must write on the exams and upload them properly. Do not retype the examinations into a Word document. That's an automatic zero. No questions asked. You will be graded on your music written notation on competency and accuracy. Once again, I will not grant any credit for any test examination that does not follow these guidelines. You may download a free scan program from any media source and take pictures and upload the examination if you like. Best of luck. Okay, that's very important that you know that's there. Let's go back under modules again. Uh, we've talked about that. If you don't know how to make a discussion and a, a discussion post, then the discussion post criteria is right as follows. You must post 100 words per week, four times per month. 100 words per week, four times per month. That means if in the last week, class such as one through four, you make four posts of a hundred words in one day, you will only be given credit for one day. You must post once per week, starting January the 23rd, 100 words uh, per week. No other arrangements or exceptions will be accepted. The criteria is right here. It is also listed under this doc this document as follows here. Okay, let's go back down. All of your instructional videos to help you in terms of reading music, identifying your basic rhythms, and understanding chord structures, and all those things are listed right here under your YouTube instructional videos. You simply click on the link it brings you right to YouTube and everything is documented as such. If you wanna understand, oh, what are the different type of notes? You have a video right there. My name is Ivan Barrett. I'm the founder and CEO. Note values. Today we are going to take a look at note values. Very, very simple. I'm making everything pretty easy for you under one click. Uh, I have a special video here. This is later on in the semester when we start talking about major and perfect intervals. Okay, this is an instructions to basic rhythms. This is um, another video that's listed right here. As Every well. piece of music has an underlying beat. A metronome counts out. And you're going to say, well, what are rhythms? Um, specific durations. Let's look at this for a second. And then you, you actually have a guide where you're going to clap uh, various rhythms as a way of helping you uh, to understand how to keep a consistent beat and perform rhythms over that consistent beat. And there's a little slow here. 
So let's say we download the rhythm packet. You're gonna see our rhythm drill number one. This is a quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note. Whole note right here, circle, four accounts. Half note, a circle with a stem. It can receive two counts and a quarter note. So if I'm clapping number one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and etc. Okay, this is a way of helping you to begin to understand how to dictate rhythms and understand the phenomenons around rhythms. Let's go back to the modules uh, one more time. Modules, tab again. I gave you some music that you can use uh, Mr. Grove's silhouette uh, when clapping your rhythm. For instance, let's use an example for right now. Let's say um, I'm gonna download the rhythm packet and I want to clap rhythm sheet open. Well, I want to actually dictate rhythm drill number one. Okay, and let's go back here now. And I'm and I want to have some music in the background. So I'm gonna use um silhouette. And I'm gonna listen for that strong beat. You simply click this here. Three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to dictate number one. I'm going to dictate rhythm drill number one. I mean, I'm going to clap the rhythm. Four. One, two, three. Number one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Number two. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, three, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, let's stop that right now just for a second. That just kind of helps you understand why I actually have these various forms of music here under your rhythm packet music dictation clips. Uh, you have one concert that you must attend. It is not optional. It is on Saturday, I believe May the 6th. You have to log in at six o'clock and your camera must be on. This is worth, uh, let's see, I believe it's 13, points to your semester grade. Let's look at this, the requirements for attending this concert. You're gonna receive more information about this. Make sure you read this information here carefully. It tells you you must log in at six o'clock for specific instructions, and the concert will actually begin at seven o'clock. You must, all communication must be through uh, attendance checks is going to be three or four throughout the concert. During the concert, notice what it says. Your camera must be on. You must be focused. That means I am expecting you not to be at work trying to watch a concert. You are going to be sitting in a room or some area where you are focused and you are watching a virtual concert that your classmates would have put together. It says the date of the event is May the 6th. This is not optional. This is not optional. This is a requirement for the course. Uh, let's go back to modules again and to see if there's any other items. Oh, yes, we have. Um, I put I placed movies, some movies for your consideration, both classical music and popular music and academic lectures. You can use these various movies. Some of them are great, like uh, Aretha Franklin, Respect the Life of Aretha Franklin, The Queen of Soul, MC Hammer, Harlem Aria, The Life of Franz Liszt, a classical composer, The Life of Frederick Chopin, A Song to Remember. You can watch these movies. 
and use these movies as discussion topics along with whatever you're covering uh, for that week under assignments. Okay, uh, let's look at the syllabus. Once again, you have home, assign, announcement, assignment, uh, files, syllabus, modules. Let's look at the syllabus for the course. I'm gonna download that for a second. Make it a little larger for you. You can read all that wonderful information right there. See where it says you're giving five points for asynchronous participation. Uh, the way I am able to determine your participation, there's an analytic tool of the, of the professor that I can log into Canvas and see how much time you're spending in the Canvas shell. If your final grade is 80%, I would then take five points times 80%, which is four. And that means you'll be given an example, four points under that area. There are four written tests, eight points each. 14 points for the midterm, your collaborative discussions, 100 words per week, uh, 16 weeks, you get 16 points, a uh, point a week, virtual concert, uh, 13 points and your written final, which is going to be on the 16th of May. All your assignments and exams, all your examinations are going to be on Tuesdays, due on Tuesdays. Let's look for instance at uh, written test number one. It's going to be on um, February the 14th from 12 a.m. to 11.59. Once again, make sure you look at the uh, presentation policy when presenting materials and examinations in the course. It tells you once again, your test examination presentation policy. Now, my reason for doing this is to help you to understand how to navigate uh, this particular course. I will place this video right uh, probably under this music uh, symbol and picture right here, or I will place it right under my picture. Okay, once again, best of luck uh, in taking this course. I am wishing each of you nothing but success. Um, only contact me or email me through the Canvas email. Do not send me an email through the school. Only the Canvas email. Okay? Best of luck to each of you. As I tell all of my students, I love each of you. And I wish you nothing but much success. Okay? Have a productive and wonderful semester. All right. Bye-bye now.